So the Trump campaign just released a new hit on Nancy Pelosi, and it is devastating. <laughs> So go ahead and check it out real quick. We turn now to that $350 billion fund to help small businesses and its workers get through the shutdown. It will be up to Congress to restock it. But Democrats blocking that move this morning. They asked for a quarter of a trillion dollars in 48 hours. I said, well, I don't, I don't think so. They objected, and I congratulate the Senate Democrats. Speaker Pelosi, what are you going to share with us from your home? Chocolate candy. Thousands have been forced to wait for hours at food banks all across the country. This is oh my. chocolate, and then we have some other chocolate here. We just got it restocked with the ice cream. You don't want to eat up everything all at one time. I can't do it much longer. I'm trying so hard. We were, can we say, enjoying. Having to admit that, yeah, we're, we're starving, and I like it better than anything else. Taping this segment, there are 22 million people out of This work. specific program is about stopping job losses today. This is hurting people bad. Other people in our family go for some other flavors, but... Right now, it's survival move. You don't know where that next something else is going to come from. I don't know what I would have done if ice cream were not invented. I just wonder. <laughs> Look, dog, I think it's abundantly clear at this point that the Republicans are better at politics than the Democrats. They're just better, bro. The Republicans are better at politics than Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, uh, Joe Biden, Hillary Clinton, all these thousand Democrats, Kamala Harris, all these little farts. They're better than all of them in politics, man. They're just more politically intelligent. They're more in tune with what people want to hear. It's abundantly clear. An ad like that is devastating. It's so devastating because the Republican Party, the conventional neoconservative, we're elitists, you know, we cater to the rich and the corporations. We're all about free market capitalism, right? And the type of capitalism that screws over the working class and caters to the rich. That's who they, that's what they've stood for for ages, right? And they weren't so good at hiding that. They weren't so good at hiding their elitism and marketing it as populist. But now with Trump, there's been this twist on it. They're still free market capitalists, right? They still have this kind of like survival of the fittest type of mentality where they screw the working class and the middle class, take from the poor and give to the rich. This reverse Robin Hood type of situation. But they market themselves with these types of ads saying, oh, we're for the people. And they're not. <laughs> they're not. They'll underline that. Put it in caps. Nancy Pelosi's sitting at home, sitting in a little fat cat home, with her $24,000 fridge, go, going up in there, raiding it for little chocolate bars and ice cream and little gelato as people are starving. As people are starving. Congress is out of session and Nancy Pelosi is on her ass eating ice cream as people are starving. As 22 million people lost their jobs in a month. That's brilliant politics, bro. You can say whatever you want about what Trump stands for. You can say whatever you want about the Republican Party and what it stands for. But what's undeniable at this point is that they are better at politics than the Democrats because they understand what people want to hear. People want to know who is on my side. They look at Washington and they say, these are elite pricks. They don't care about me. They've never cared about me or my family. There's no point in even caring about politics. If they don't care about me, why should I care about politics? It's a wash. The system's a wash. I, get, I just got to control what I can control in my own life. Screw politics. What someone like Donald Trump and what someone like Bernie Sanders is able to say is, we care about you. And the opposition, the establishment, they don't care about you. Nancy Pelosi's at home on her butt doing nothing for you. Joe Biden, he had the corruption with his family with the, with the little cushy, cushy job that he was able to get for Hunter Biden, the little lobbyist gigs and all types of crap like that. They paint you know, crooked Hillary, right? Trump and his campaign, and it's kind of influenced the rest of the, the Republican Party and the way they operate, they are able to present themselves as populist when they're totally not. None of their policies that they've implemented over the four years have shown that they're actually populist, but it does show that they are better at politics. They know what people want. They know what grinds to, to tick. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know the nerve that they need to go ahead and prick at if they want to get people's votes, and that's the nerve. You gotta talk about populism. You gotta talk about how you're on their side and the other side is not. How you are fighting for their interests, how you wanna protect their jobs and you wanna protect their interests and you're fighting for them. The Republicans are just really good at marketing, bro. Trump is really good at marketing and the Democrats aren't, bro. And I don't know how it's gonna look moving forward. I don't know 
I don't know what's going to happen in 2020. I really don't. But what I will say is this, as long as Trump continues to run in this manner, where he's hitting the Democratic leadership, he's hitting Joe Biden, and he's doing it from a populist, almost to the left of the, of the Democrats, if he's hitting them from the left as the Republican candidate for president, Trump has stands a very, very, very good chance of winning, bro. Um, and this, the Republicans certainly stand a very good chance of keeping the Senate and a good chance of taking back the House. Because you're going to have all of that vote that is so opposed to Donald Trump, while they're very staunch in that belief, will it be enough to stop the wave of, of, of Trump supporters who are going to be coming out behind that fake populist banner? That's going to be the key, bro, and I really don't know. I used to be of the belief that Biden's toast, but with this pandemic and how Trump's kind of mishandled the whole fallout, I don't know what it's going to look like. But what I will say is that so far, Trump is running the better campaign. I mean, Biden can barely put together freaking sentences as dudes out here <laughs> just looking like a dead in the water, bro, like a deer in headlights, not knowing what he's saying. His campaign's not giving him any favors. They're running to be, I'm better than the other guys, so vote for me. While Trump is actually hitting real messages that resonate with the American people on this type of fake populism. They're just better at politics than the Democrats, man, and we'll see how it plays Sitting out. With the boys, yeah, we making all this noise. Can't complain, can't complain. Riding in the fast lane. To the top, we don't stop up till past five o'clock. Smoking tree.